Tonight, a family feels justice is being served after a Columbus firefighter is officially charged in a fatal accident that happened back in July. The firefighter, Tyler Connors, was charged this week with aggravated vehicular homicide. 63-year-old Timothy Wiggins died in that crash. Today, 10TV spoke to the family. Terry Jabor tells us what Wiggins' family wants people to know. Timothy Wiggins family says that he was a father, a friend and a confidant. Now it's been three months since a crash took his life and his family feels relief in the charges, but they are still heartbroken. Take a look at this map that shows exactly how the crash happened. The red fire truck was in the second from the left lane and tried to turn directly into the median where it hit a car shown here in gray. Then the back of the truck was sticking out and that's when the car Wiggins was driving shown here in purple crashed into the fire truck. The crash report says the fire truck did not have lights or sirens activated and Wiggins died instantly. His family left shocked and devastated. He was a great guy. He he liked there wasn't anybody he didn't dislike. You know, he liked everybody. He would give you the shirt off his back. If you ask carpenter. for it and a master carpenter. Gahanna police says at the time of the crash, the fire truck was not responding to an emergency. Wiggins family wishes that the driver would have made a better decision. Instead of going up to the next exit, he just wanted to get to the turnaround. But um, unfortunately, he just wasn't patient enough for that. They are happy the driver Connors is being charged, but they feel the charge isn't enough. I'm glad that Justice is being served. Unfortunately, it's only um, a small charge um, and it won't bring him back no matter what, which is the worst part. I asked them what they would say to Connors if they saw him. That he took a very good man from us and I mean, I'm sorry this is happening to him, but he, you know, he needs to be responsible for what he did by taking someone's life like that. And Tyler Connors will be in court on Friday. Reporting in Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.